<laughs> so one of the important things when you're doing a long bike ride and you're taking all the kit with you is being economical with the weight. You don't want to carry too much weight. So I've been looking at, well, I've got a front rack on here on the bike. I've got the rear rack on there already. And uh, my local bike shop, Finch's Emporium at Forest Hill, they gave me this bag, which is very kind of them. I just got a clip for it, which uh, keeps it on the handlebars. And that's where my phone's gonna go. Music, earphones in one ear, keep the other ear free for traffic, very important. Uh, and yeah, and then the Wahoo element is gonna go on there to give me the guidance, directions, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, blah, blah, blah. So, all good. But what else am I gonna take? This is the whole thing when you go on a long bike ride. Well, Charlie Talbot from the Groucho Cycling Club has lent me his tent. It's really light. It's like a kilo and a half, nothing. And then another half a kilo for a sleeping bag. And then a mat, really important. It's a, like a roll-up, semi-inflatable mat. Really, really important. No backache, comfort, long distance cycling. These are front panniers. I'm gonna put those on in a minute. So the first bag has got my roll-up mat in there. Probably put a few bits of clothing in there, some socks, but not much. I'm not gonna carry much in the way of clothing. I'm just gonna wash clothes each, each day as I go. So that hooks on there, like that. Not too much weight on the front. The other one, uh, sleeping bag and some more clothes. Whatever, nothing, nothing too heavy. That goes on the other side. So that's the front of the bike sorted. And then in the box here, in the box here on top of the bike, I guess iPad, stuff like that. Food, mainly food for the day. That's gonna go in there, but nothing too heavy. So this is really clever. This is for when I'm gonna do some wild camping, which I definitely am gonna do, particularly in the remote parts of Scotland, which I'll be going through. Probably Loch Ness, places like that. So this is really good. Little uh, frying pan, pot, whatever. Probably use it for coffee, I don't know, whatever. Little bowls. Uh, cereal, coffee, that, I don't quite know what that is. A ladle, I think. Uh, and then, these are really cool. Cut the reset. These sort of snap, fold out like that, lock in place. A little knife, fork, spoon, pretty good. And, yes, wooden spoon for making omelette or stirring, whatever. Uh, and then the big pot. That's for, I'll be making porridge in that in the mornings. And last but not least, some gas to burn to make things hot. And this little genius, I think the Duke of Edinburgh do these kind of things uh, when they're doing training, outdoor training and stuff. So this all folds out and uh, you basically screw that on. There. It's all very quick. There's a little ignition thing here. Turn this to turn the gas on, you can hear it. There, and ignition! And there you go, we have a stove ready to cook food. Brilliant. And all packs down into this tiny thing here. Who needs to take the kitchen sink? Although I could do with something to wash it in. There's a, they even give you a little loofah thing to, to wash up with. So I'll probably wash up in that, I guess. I think it's non-stick too, it's pretty good, good stuff. So the main weight goes in the back of the bike really, it's the safest to go there. So that's that's my portable kitchen. <laughs> and then that goes in the back. Both these panniers will be full when I'm ready to go. And shoes wise, I'm just taking my cycling shoes, which I can walk in as well. I'm just gonna take a pair of soft trainers, you know, something very light like with running shoes, something like that. That's it, no more than that. So then the two bags, they go on the back. And then the tent. The tent, that's gonna go there, in between the two bags. 
So that's kind of it as far as what I'm going to carry is concerned. I'm not going to carry too much, um, probably about on top of the bike. The bike's about 10 and a half kilos. I'm probably going to carry about 15 kilos on top of that. So 26, 27 kilos maximum. Uh, I'll probably get it down to 25 if I'm really careful. But that's what it'll look like, pretty much. So nearly there. I think it's eight days away. Just got to make sure I'm fit. And I'm leaving early in the mornings as well now. Rather than leaving sort of 10 o'clock, I'm going to leave at 7 o'clock in the morning because this weather is it's pretty hot. First to the 16th of August, it's going to be baking. So I reckon in the mornings will be perfect. So I'll arrive, dogs just marches by lunchtime. So, all being well.